Lionsville, just two blemishes on their record to go along with 18 wins. The winner of this one to get Hamilton Southeastern in round two. Carmel already disposes of Westfield. They'll face Fishers in the next round here at Noblesville. Noblesville starts this quarter in zone. Little trap on the side. Eisenbarger's three. Short. Chase down. Thrown up short by Smith. His return shot won't go. He wants some more of it. And Leland Brown clears it away. Oh, Noblesville yeah. in transition. Lane opens up. Maddox, the kick, rounds three, up and by that. Well, it's, yeah, it's conversion defense that lets Zionsville down. Nobody stopping the dribble, the kick out to a wide open Leland Brown. 15 left. Yeah, you teach to dive down quickly, hands active. Hands going up and down, not down and up. Well, Eisenbarger hasn't scored yet. Now, Smith missed a wide open layup, looks. gets it back and scores. He's on the bench with four. Brown joins him there as uh, Smith converts the three-point play. He now has eight. The deficit for Zionsville is three as they look for a stop here. It's a significant foul, obviously, for Brown. Three-pointer, misfire, rebound controlled. Second team foul charged against Zionsville. Coming off the screen, Maddox. Swing at the corner. Yuri looks, comes top of the circle. You just like the patience, the patience, the execution, ball reversal. The other thing you like too, if you defensively, Zions has done a nice job of taking things away just there. Great post defense on the part of David Smith. He's come up huge for he them really the last couple of positions ends. on both just ends of the floor. No question. Now look at him working hard inside. Eisenbarger finally gets on the board with the three. 38-38 at the six-minute mark. Well, he's too good not to get on the board. You know, he does too many things for them. And now you've got it. It's locked up at 38. Great ball game. Tremendous game. Maddox picks up the dribble in some trouble. Comes to the corner. Yuri with it. A lot of leaning. Court. Now does Zionsville recognize that and take it to him? Absolutely. They do it within the framework of their offense. Floating to the bucket. Nice move. Great body control. Leland Brown with 12. That's that's gutsy to take yeah, it in there with four that's fouls. That's where you worry about him picking up that fifth fouls on the offensive end. Demetrius Lawson shut off in the double team. Picked off by Leland Brown. Wisely slows it up. Let's the traffic clear. Now needs some help. Smart and move. is rescued yeah. by Brandon Good Maddox. Move. Two point lead for the Millers. 40 38. Nice drive. The kick. The three. No. Cracked down by Leland Brown. Again, long rebound mark off the three. That's one of the things that has really victimized Zionsville to this point. Have not done a good job on the glass off the three. Dynas drives baseline. Shut off in the double team. Goes to lead. Four. Four and a half minutes. Brown will trigger it in. Dynas has it knocked out of his hands. Five. We talk about oftentimes valuing possessions. I think you get a perfect example of it right now, the way that the fourth quarter is going to be played. You get a little tentative, you know. Your game starts to shorten up a little bit. You want to make sure you don't turn it over. You don't make mistakes. But you also want to make sure you continue to attack. Oh, oh yeah. the double dribble. I know there was a foul. No, there was, gets bumped off the spot by Blake Luter. Well, Sean Music agrees with me. He was asking for the double dribble as well. Well, it wasn't. But, I mean, you're going to ask it. Absolutely. That's a 14 foul. Second on Luter's, by the way. Leland Brown with a crossover. Well, a very patient offensively. Good looking three, but can't finish it. That's yeah, good look. Just a little, you know, didn't go. Lively kicked the legs under him a little bit. Didn't get very yeah, good. Did extension. not get the knees. You're exactly right. But Noblesville back man to man. Big possession. 40, 38 under four to play. Well, their their man spread out. They'll try to. I would think clear out and try to get, try to isolate. They're two big guys. Just go try to find one of them inside. They're both going to try to duck in and position up and get ready. Roberts to Luters. Demetrius Lawson lost it. 
Good crossover move in transition by Maddox. Spins away from the defense and lays it up and in. Now David Smith saying, look, I didn't, I didn't do it. I just I kind of got there. But enough contact that the official called it. That's Second. a big, big swing. It's two plus the ball. Second foul on David Smith. Little screen. Shot. Wow. Good. Good looking shot by Brandon Maddox. He has six. Yeah. The lead is six. That's the biggest of the night for Noblesville at 44-38 with three minutes to play. That's your big four-point swing, but it's also, keep it in perspective, it's two possessions. Eisenbarger, bodies flying to the floor. Roberts got away with a walk. Let me tell you what, the post guys are posting up as hard as they can post. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound controlled by Dinas. In transition comes Noblesville. It's a walk. Take some time to get it inside and work our way that way. Defensively, we got to have a couple of stops. Now, Dave McCullough, he's going zone, coming out of the timeout, play a little checkers and chess again, a little one, to try to match up out of a 2-3, a, a little 1-3-1. One, one. The big key in this is find shooters, find green shirts to get a body on on a miss. Just two of seven shooting for the Eagles, almost to travel. Roberts with it. As no we approach the two-minute mark. There's no need to hurry. You've got plenty of time to probe and look and reverse and get the best shot you can get. Great double, double team, team, almost triple a triple team. team, yeah. Roberts forced three and got it to fall. Boy, it was. You know what? I was getting ready to say, you've been into the possession that long. That's not the shot you need, but how about the big hoop? Six for Roberts, 44-41. The lead down to three now under two to play. That's a huge hoop. Maddox to Leland Brown. Dynas. Minute 45. Keep playing to win, Noblesville. Don't play not to lose. Nice give and go. Andrew Lively with five. How about slipping the screen? Screen, slip to the hoop. Great pass, great finish. Bumps it back to five, as you say, Mark. But look at him now, getting greedy. Forced Forced it, follows it. Forces his way along the baseline, and they're going to call him stepping on the out-of-bounds line. It'll go back to Noblesville. (laughs) Don't go crazy. Don't foul the jump shooter. Thought about going baseball pass, but they get it into Geary instead. Well, again, you still haven't broken it. You're still still down. you got to get across. Needs to hurry. Maddox close to 10. Patient with the basketball. Don't force it. There's still time. Exactly. You should have coached. Zionsville, you're going to attack off the dribble and get the ball to the rim. You want to get the ball inside and get to the rim as quickly as you can. You don't have to settle for three. You want to get to the rim. Eisenbarger picks up the block. Plays to score off the inbound. Here's a little duck in, just as I said. And the finish. David Smith and double figures with ten. Smith got away with a foul on the push off, but again, it's they, they do it so well, they execute on the inline out of bounds. I'll spread the floor now. Dynas with the basketball under a minute to play. Noblesville up four. Zionsville going to pick up the defense. A lot of hands there and finally a foul. Hits. Got to give it a chance. Get the attack. Go to the rim. Hoosier Crossroads Conference champions are currently trailing the team that tied for fifth in the conference. 49-43. Zionsville with the basketball. Well, they had it set for a three for Eisenberger, but now again you attack. You go to the rim. Roberts Boom. fade away. Got it to go. Eastern. So you're one two one one on the inbound. Automatic trap as soon as they get it. There's your foul. Free throw. Way short. Zionsville with the rebound. Listen, there's so much left. time. Eisenbarger. So much time. Oh, Little good bump, defense. No call. Pulls up from 16. Oh. Can't get it to fall. Ball knocked Green out of bounds. Or they'll reverse to have him duck into the ball. Right Eisenbarger here. Eisenbarger burning a lot of time. He's in a double team. Has they trouble getting get rid of it. Roberts forces up a three. There's a lot of contact right to, there, though. to Smith. He misses a point blank shot. Coming down with the big rebound is Leland Brown. And reality is starting to set in for the Zionsville Eagles. Still stay same thing. You've got a two possession. 14 points for Leland Brown. 51-45. Zionsville with the basketball. Eisenbarger, deep three, no good. Rebound controlled by Leland Brown. He throws it straight up in the air, and the Noblesville Millers celebrate the upset. 18-2, Zionsville has been eliminated in the first round of postseason play. Noblesville, 51. Zionsville, 45.